Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the History Brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, New to create a new file, or preferably go to File, Open to open an existing photo from your hard drive. I'm using this photo of a bridge. To find the tool, go to Window, Tools to open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. You will also need the History window open. Go to Window, History to open up the History window. The tool is located fifth from the top on the right hand side and may be hiding behind the art history brush tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, and you will see this menu appear. You can select the top one, the history brush tool. The keyboard shortcut is Y, meaning if I'm using another tool and I press the letter Y on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the history brush tool. Let me show you how it works. I'll first of all increase the brush size. This works like any other brush in Photoshop. I can change the brush size, the hardness, the opacity, the flow, everything else. Uh, but first, before we use it, we have to uh, create uh, some kind of a change on our photo, which we'll be able to see occur um, over here in the history palette once we've done it. Um, why don't we apply a Gaussian blur? We will go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to make this pretty blurry. Great, there we go, and press OK. So now we have a blurry image, and you can see in our history window over here, we have uh, the history. The first thing I did was I opened the file, and then I applied the Gaussian Blur. So that's where we are now. If I click on the open, you will see it takes us back to what it looked like when I opened the file. If I click on Gaussian Blur, it will take us to where we are now when I applied the Gaussian Blur. Now let's look at the History Brush tool. Once again, it's fifth from the top on the right hand side. Select it, and uh, I'm going to increase my brush size a bit more, which I can do here or I can also hold the right or left bracket key um, to adjust the size. The right bracket key will increase the size and the left bracket key will decrease the size. I'm uh, going to go about 700 for this. And um, whatever um, this logo you will see when I click here, you will see a little logo that looks just like the history brush logo does over here. And whatever um, point in history that this brush is placed on is where this brush will restore your photo to. Meaning this brush uh, will take your photo back in time, wherever, uh, whatever time you want it to, um, just in the areas that you select. Let me show you how it works. When I click here, you will see it restores it to that original image which I have selected there right at the top and as I go over this with this brush it restores the image so I can uh, take away some of the blurriness that I just applied uh, but only in certain areas And there we go. There is a quick example of the History Brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.